Hello, 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 hello. Okay, hello everybody. Out here on YouTube, it is I Hear Her Beautiful Beauty. You're honest, you're truthful, you're lovely, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous product reviewer. Okay, that is none other than myself. Um, gonna be talking about, <laughs> that was kind of different, wasn't it? That was kind of funny because you know how these intros to these videos, you always say the same things. Sometimes you try to think, okay, what can I say to spice it up? And then in fact, always the same statements come from your lips. You know what I mean? It's like redundant, repetitive, like, okay. But anyhow, want to be a little different. I uh, want to talk about Castile soap today. Castile soap. Um, you know I love Castile soap. I've been hooked on Castile soap and addicted to it forever. I love the Dr. Bronner's Castile soap just like everybody else does. But I also like the Dr. Jacobs brand and the Dr. Woods brand is okay as well. Uh, Dr. Bronner's, Dr. Jacobs, and the Dr. Woods is good stuff. I think the Dr. Jacobs is a little bit more my favorite, if that makes sense. It's like a little bit yeah, I like it. I really like it. I also like the Vitacos brand as well of the Castile soap. I used a lot of different brands and I really do like them all, you know, considering. But anyhow, this is the Sprouts Farmers Market brand and uh, this is really good stuff. And I tell you what, like Magic Castile soap and uh, Dr. Bronner's kind of kicked it off for me a couple years ago. I started using that about six or seven years ago and that's kind of when I inter introduced myself to the, you know, magic of Castile soap, if that makes sense. It's good for anything, you guys. Literally, okay, I mop my floors with this stuff. I do, I do. Um, my my house has uh, tile flooring. I've got tile flooring, marble flooring, and I have hardwood flooring in my house. It just depends, like, what's upstairs, what's downstairs, if that makes sense. Um, I don't have any carpet in my house, but anyhow, I have, like, all hard surface floors is what I'm saying. I love to mop my floors with this stuff. It is magic. It is good. It works. I love it. It really cleans my, my, my floors. It really does. Now, also, if I'm in a pinch and, like, running low on laundry detergent, or if I just don't want to use regular laundry detergent that day for whatever reason, I have done a few loads of clothes with this, uh, it works really, really good as a laundry detergent. I love it. It works good as a dish liquid. It cleans dishes. If you're going to hand clean dishes, it works well for that. It cleans my countertops. It cleans my table. Um, it, it, it cleans my, my dog's toys. It cleans basically everything. It's really good on makeup and cosmetic brushes. It, Castile soap cleans your makeup brushes like none other like nothing else you don't have to spend a ton of money on like fancy smancy you know brush cleaners and, and makeup cleaners and things like that this stuff is the bomb when it comes to that i love 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 it uh, also shampoo i've been using this as a shampoo this is a really like a good detox type of clarification shampoo it helps remove that residual buildup off my hair you know like styling product buildup uh, hair oiling hair serum buildup uh, mousse, hairspray. I use very little hairspray personally, but I do use mousse and other things like that. It just removes a lot of residual hair build up and it removes the residual build up from like shampoo bars. I love shampoo bars, but after time you do get that residual build up on the scalp and roots of your hair. It totally cleanses that away. It lifts it away. It's been really good for that. I've been using it for a shampoo lately. I also use it as a facial wash, which I will say I don't use it every day or daily for a facial wash because it can be drying for that uh, task, if you know what I mean. So it's like an occasional thing. I will occasionally wash my face, uh, but I know that it works really good on eyelids. Keep your eyelids closed really tight if you want to scrub your eye makeup off, if you want to scrub your eyeliner or scrub your mascara off. It really gently does that for your eyes. Just make sure you are tightly squinched up. Your eyes are slammed shut because it will burn like the dickens and you don't want to get it in your eyes. So just really squint your eyes up, hold in there and just go to town getting that makeup off your eyes. Really good eye makeup remover. It just removes like the extra traces like left behind that other things didn't remove, if that makes sense. Um, it just all around, it's really good as a body wash. I don't use it consistently as a body wash because it can be a little drying on the skin in all honesty, but it's like an occasional thing. I'll use it like once a week in the shower and it just gets my skin so clean and just 
so refreshed, if that makes sense. Um, I really love it. Like I said, there's a multitude of usages. You can um, you could sh you can shampoo or wash your your dog or your cat with this stuff. Use it on your pets, and um, 